Okay, for centers today, today is Tuesday, you have two sheets. Each sheet of paper has um, a resource that you'll need to do the activity, okay? So first of all, P is for pilgrim. Here are the pilgrims. Here are these um, lady pilgrims right here behind. So it's, this will be behind in your packet. You can take this out if you would like. I don't need it back. And then you can cut them up if you want or you can just use the sheet of paper. So you'll look here, here's the numbers. Here's the number one. And this is a picture of a hat. Okay, so on number one, you're gonna listen to the beginning sound. And then you will, it says to color the pilgrim to match. You don't need to do that. You're just writing the beginning sound. So the first sound that you hear in hat is H. So on number one, you're going to write an H. Let me look at these pictures and make sure that you know what all of these are. Okay, we have, I think you'll know what all of these ones are. This one's a spoon. If you get to number seven, this is the ship that they sailed over on called the Mayflower. Say Mayflower. Good, I think you'll know the rest. Acorn, scarecrow, leaf. Then on the next one is called the Thanksgiving 10 frames. For the Thanksgiving 10 frames, you are going to need this page right here, but you're gonna need this for another worksheet, I think tomorrow. So make sure, yes, tomorrow. So don't throw this away, okay, keep this. So you, And this would also be a really good thing for you to keep and cut out so that you have um, some little flashcards so you can practice the teen numbers because those can be kind of tricky sometimes. So you can keep these, I don't need this back. Today we're just gonna use the number one through nine. So what you're gonna do is you're going to, if you cut all of these out like this, let me just hurry and show you. And then you, <laughs> should have done this earlier, sorry. Then you're going to pick a number, close your eyes, pick a number, here's the number five. So on your worksheet, there is a turkey at a table with a big circle under the table. On the, in that circle, you're going to write the number that you picked out. This is the number five. So you'll write five here, and then you'll fill in the 10 frames. The 10 frames are easy because you just do circles for how many numbers? One, two, three, four, five, okay? Then you just go on to the next one. Then you pick another one. I got six. It doesn't matter which one you do it on. You can go down or you can go across. So you just count and put that many circles into the 10 frame. 10 frames are important little tools because they teach us how to count um, quickly. Like right here, if I didn't see this number and I didn't, I wanted to, um, you'll start to memorize that if the whole row is filled out, that's five, okay? If two rows are filled out, that's 10. So they're a good counting tool that we'll be using a lot this year. All right, do your best.